Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a responsive table with horizontal scroll in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to click here on Add New. So let's just call this page Table. Use Divi Builder. So the first thing we need to do is to build this from scratch. And then we need to go into the section settings over here. Next, click on advanced. And then you want to come over here to custom CSS. And in the main element, we need to add the CSS code. I will add a link to the post in the show notes below so you can see that CSS code. All right, so that's all we need to do for now. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Next, we need to click on this plus button here to add our columns. So I'm going to add a single column here. And uh, now that I've added my single column, before we add any modules, let's go into our row settings. Here, we need to go into design, sizing, and we need to activate gutter width, okay? Now, this needs to be set to one. Now, the gutter width is the space between the columns. So we want to make sure that we don't have any spaces there. Next, on the width here, by default, it's set to 80%. We want this to be uh, 100%. All right, so now that we have this, the next step now is to add a border. So we are going to scroll all the way down here, click on border. Now the border that we need is going to be this one right here on the right. And then now let's add our size. So this is going to be one pixel. And next let's add our color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here. And by the way, all the colors that I'm using, I'll leave them in the uh, post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we've added this, let's go to spacing because what we need to do here is to add our padding. So I am going to add zero both to the top and the bottom like that. Now we need to add some CSS. So we are going to come over here to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes. And on the CSS class is where we need to add our class like that, okay? And again, if you just want to copy and paste this, I will leave this in the uh, comments box below. All right, so now that I have this, next I need to save and then click on this plus button to add our text module. I'm going to select it. So in here, we're just going to say table item. But of course, in your case, you can add whatever you want in here. Now let's go to the design tab because here we need to align our text center. So I'm going to come over here to our text. Scroll all the way down here and align it center. Next, we need to uh, come over here to sizing and add our height. So our height here needs to be 80 pixels. And then just like how we did before, we need to add a border. And our border here is going to be on the right. And let's add our size here and also our color. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color like that. In fact, you know what? Our border is supposed to be this one right here. Let's add one. Now let's add our color. There we go. Okay, so um, that's looking much better now. And just make sure that this one here is set to zero because the one we are after is this one right here. Okay, so now that we've added um, that line, the next thing we need to do is to add some CSS to our text. So we're going to come over here to advanced, custom CSS, and in the main element, I'm going to paste my text like that. Now, as I mentioned before, I will leave a link to this text and all the CSS code in uh, to the post in the show notes below. All right, so now that we have this, the next step now is to just duplicate this um, as many times as we want. So let's go ahead and uh, save changes. Right, so to make things easier for me, I like to do it this way. So I'm gonna click on this um, expand settings, click on the layers, and then we're just gonna drill down here until we get to our text module. And this is how I am going to duplicate them. So we're gonna do this five times. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So now here, we need to create our heading. So first of all, I need to rename this, call this heading. And then I'm going to go into this module here by clicking this gear icon. And let's call this heading as well. Now, we also want to make this different because right now it just looks like the rest of the content here. So let's go to our background here, click on this plus button and add a very dark gray as our background color. Now let's update the text because right now, as you can see, it doesn't really stand out from this background. So I'm going to click here on this 
brush tool and this is going to take us straight to our text. So first of all, our font style, we're gonna make this all caps, set the color to white and our font weights to bold. And then we're going to save, right? So what we're going to do next is to duplicate the columns now. So first time we did the rows, so now we're doing the columns. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll one, two, three, four, five. So let's go for six. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to add our background color. So I'm gonna come over here to my background and we are going to add this gray like that. So now we have our table item in here. So we can also go in and uh, change those colors. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go in and uh, take our color from our heading here. So I'm going to right click and then we're going to click on extend text styles. And then we're just going to say this column and extend. Okay, so what we need to do next is to add a logo to this. So I'm going to come over here to the top left and delete this module and add another one. So as you can see, in fact, you know what? Let me go in using our layers because it's easier to navigate my layers here. So, okay, let's go in here. So this one here is the first uh, row. So we're going to go in and this is what we need to change. So I'm going to click here on this plus button add an image and select my image in here and the image I need to select is our logo so I'm going to go with something right I don't have a Divi logo in here so I'm going to go with uh, this one right here upload an image and now I am going to adjust the size because right now you can see it's quite big so I'm going to come over here to design a sizing and I'm just going to make this slightly smaller Okay, so with that set, I'm going to save this and then I'm going to get rid of my heading here. So I'm just left with the logo. All right. So now that I have this set, I also need to add some CSS code. So I'm going to copy it. Now this CSS code, what it's going to do is it's going to make our vertical headings row sticky. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So back over here, we're going to click here on this gear icon. Go to advanced custom CSS and in my in our main element, I'm going to add my code in here. All right. So the next thing is to come over here to position. And what we need to do is to set our Z index and it's going to be 13. So now if you want to further customize this, you can go in and add buttons in here or uh, you can also add, uh, you know, different text. So now let me show you what the final result looks like once you've added all the CSS code. And also, by the way, I forgot to mention that if you want to just uh, copy this and just add it onto your website without going through the whole process of adding all this information, this can also be done easily by going to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. And once you go to that post, you can just copy that layout and uh, add it onto your page. So now let me show you how to install this. So what you want to do is to come to this post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. And then you want to click here on download the files. And once you've downloaded them, uh, they'll be in this uh, zipped folder. You need, to up, uh, you need to open this zipped folder. And now you're going to have this single file. So let's go ahead and add this single file. So now we need to go to our DV library. So I'm going to come over here, click on DV library. Next, you want to click on import and export click on import now let's add our file that we just downloaded so i'm just going to drag it over here like that and then click on import okay so now you can see it's in our library and now it's time to use it so all you have to do now is to go to any page and then add it onto our page so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to come over here to pages and uh, let's uh, create a new page. So I'm going to click here on add new. I'm going to call this new page. Use Divi Builder. So what I'm going to do now is uh, click here on this plus button. This is going to uh, take us to our saved uh, layouts. This is where we've saved our DV horizontal scroll table. So I'm going to select it. Now this is going to import it from our library, ready for us to go in and use it on our page. And here we go. We have our table and 
Now you can go in and customize anything you want. So if I click here, I can go in and uh, adjust our table item. So we could just call this table item two. You can see it's updating like that. All right, so all you have to do now is to hit publish. It has all the elements you need here to create your own table. So now I am going to exit the visual builder and let's take a look at this. All right, so this is our final design and uh, our table here. We can go through it and this side here is fixed. And we can also use these arrows here. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.